Oh, this is the third day. Isn't third day. It? Yeah. But like the first day was travel and we had to get up at three in the morning and I don't really remember much of the third day. No, the first day. I can't <laughs> even say it. Because this is our third day, yesterday we just slept by the pool. Today we're going to go for a bit of a walk, take you with us, vlog the whole thing, maybe do one of those, what is it that people do? Holiday, no. Relax. No, no, no. You know people <laughs> do those lookbooks, don't they? When they go to like a foreign destination and they're like, my lookbook in so-and-so I might try and do that even though okay. I've only got like five outfits but whatever Why are you right dancing? I don't know should we go over here I don't know if you can see in the distance up there but there's basically these mountains that have got snow on the top of them so technically they were saying to us at the hotel they were like you could go skiing if you want to even though it doesn't look like there's much snow up there but there is a bit and then there's like a load of beaches down here look at that beautiful view Guys, I could happily live here. It is just absolutely stunning. Let me just show them the church. It is quite small. I'll just go inside. It's even got a candle burning. There she is. I just show them inside the church. After I saw you earlier, what we did is we went and sat by the pool and just like, I pretty much just slept. I've had a shower, back in the room, and we're gonna go out this evening. I had a nightmare packing and I left uh, my hair products at home and I bought this hair oil here and it looks like I haven't washed my hair in a month. Look. Oh. It's like, it's like, um, windswept in a bad way. This is part of our room out here. We've got our own private swimming pool. Here's David doing his work. And you can lift that blind there and like look out onto the main pool, but we're keeping it closed. You can also, the bath is out here. Check this out. You can literally have a bath outdoors actually really really impressed with this hotel I have got a pretty good track record I think on picking good hotels and this is definitely a good one um, yeah so this is it this is it and I'll put the details of the hotel uh, do I can I even tell you what it's called oh here we go this is the hotel that is the name of it there you go the bathrooms in here but the sink is out in the bedroom and look at this see this that is the tap how random is that? They've put the tap for the sink, like hanging off the ceiling. Anyway, do you want to see something more exciting? Something from Chanel. Something that I did not anticipate buying and I bought it at 5.30 in the morning. Possibly my earliest purchased ever. I've not seen this since I bought it. Look at that. The colour isn't even coming out. It's like a neony, like a lemon, a really bright lemon colour. And it looks a bit washed out when I'm looking at it on camera, but how pretty is this bag? I'm just gonna show you it for size comparison. So this is the Chanel. I don't even know what that's called. I wanted it in pink, because I've seen it in pink, but actually when I saw it in the in the yellow, I really liked it. I got a few of these different um, like cover-ups that you put on over the top of your swimwear. This one's really nice. And also, for anyone who's tall, even in heels, hang on, where's the shoulder? Look. It is a good length, so I highly recommend this, but anyway. 
This is so weird. I feel like I'm getting, look at this guy next to us. He's like left us no space. I feel like I'm getting in the wrong side. This is the weirdest thing. I keep feeling like I want to say to you like, oh my God, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh yeah. <laughs> it feels like it. Yeah, I don't have any change. Do you want me to stop around here? Well, I don't really want to go in there. I've got notes, but I don't have anything for the. The only thing you can do is there were some cars that were parked up on the side of the street. Maybe you could try and do that. But hang on a minute, the ticket machine's going to be written in Greek. How are you going to know what no, it, it says? Oh, okay. Are you excited? What about Sephora? They yes. <laughs> I was trying to explain earlier to David why it's such an exciting place. Why is if Sephora such an exciting place? It's just full of like decent brands to be honest, including the Sephora own brand. Now I promise I'll only be in here like 10 minutes. <laughs> 25% off, oh handy. Look at these. Do you want to get anything in here? No. Why? I don't need anything. Oh. Do you want to talk? They've still got their Christmas decorations up, look. Can you see them? Hang on. There. <laughs> <laughs> The ceiling is like massive in here. Yeah. Good morning everyone. We are can I do that again? <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is very early oh my god that's a lie what time is it 10 o'clock yeah. 10 o'clock it's not very early it's but it feels 8, it it feels 8, 8 it a.m in the uk yes 8 a.m in the uk that's still that's still not early but like we're on holiday at the moment and we feel really tired so i'm going to keep my glasses on we, we've got up this morning we're going to go to breakfast then after that we are going on a bit of an adventure today we've been told about this beach that is about an hour and a half's drive away and apparently the whole thing is pink and i googled it and they're not lying, like it's proper, like a dream. It looks amazing. So we're gonna head there today. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I should go now and we'll get breakfast. It's very quiet around here today. Normally that the bar over there, the music plays sort of from around about 8 a.m. to around midnight, I wanna say. But anyway, this is the pool. There are two pools at this hotel. And one of the things that I really like about it is this hotel was only built like, I think a year ago. And they have, for anyone who's into Star Wars, if you're a Star Wars fan, they have designed this hotel based on the, is it the cantina in one of the, I'm just gonna show you it. And if you know the film, you'll know what I mean. So this is it, this is the design. It's sort of like, everything's painted in this like dusky gray biscuity color and also like Tunisian Greek influences. Just imagine getting up every single day of your life and walking to the seafront to have breakfast. How amazing would that be? I guess for some people it's reality. Look who's coming over guys. Look who it is. Oh, it's you, it's you. You're very cute. You're so cute. Aren't you cute? Have you had lots of breakfast this morning? Have you been fed well? Hello. How are you? Hello. We're on our way to this beach and we're driving down this really weird, I think it's a motorway, but we don't really understand. Let me try and show you. What was that in the road? Something was dead in the road. Oh. Um, okay, so there's like four lanes. Those guys over there have two. Can you see there's this solid white line? So the bit of road we're in at the moment gets ne really narrow every so often and there's like debris off the stuff up there. And it feels oh, like, yeah, there's like rocks in the road. And in the UK, this would almost be considered like the hard shoulder where you go where you've broken down. And some people drive with that white line in the middle of their car. I, it's very confusing. Oh, hang on, where are we going? It says, continue on this road. If any of you ever come to Crete and you want to find the pink beach, there are two. One is, what is it, what is it again? 
What is the name of that? I can't. <laughs> just, just head for Balos Lagoon Beach. There, yeah, there's two, right? There's Balos, and then there's another one that I'll put the name of here. I'm sorry, my mind's gone blank. And we were at one that was like in the middle, and it wasn't either. But anyway, we're near Balos. Look at the beautiful sea. It's so warm up here. It's lovely. But these roads are really scary because like there's just like a sheer drop and the car we're in, I'm really paranoid it's gonna get a puncture. This is giving me anxiety. If someone comes the other way, oh my God, this car. Should I turn off the air con? Like, just turn that off. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's one of those churches there, look. I need to say a prayer we actually make it. Can you see the way the road winds up there? It's all the it's all the way yeah. round there. Up the top there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, like if one of those fell down, like, right, can we not sorry, I won't. In other news, the sea is calm. Is there a car coming? I can't I can't see one. We made it. Oh no. Can I see if that's the bathroom over there? Can you come with me? Because if there's goats in there, I don't want. Yeah, that'd be fun. Right, it turns out that wasn't actually the bathroom. What you doing? That's amazing. Doesn't look pink though, does it? No, maybe when we get down. Oh, it does look a bit pink there. Bob's, look how far down it is. Yeah, it's miles down. Really? Princess Diana and Dodie came down here. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. So they were telling us like at the hotel, they were telling us that back in the day, like in ancient times, because the sand is like tinged pink from crushed seashells, they believed that goddesses bathed down here. And when I look at it, I can see that it's so stunning. Still walking. This is like a really long 20 minutes. I'll say that. And actually I feel more concerned about, oh God, look how far we've still got to go. I'm more concerned about coming back up because some of the people walking past us look like they're dying. This is freaking dangerous. There's no edge either. We made it, we made it down. To get back up, you've got to walk up there and which is very difficult because the sand makes you want to fall over and then you've got to walk all the way up to there. And let me tell you, it is difficult. The sand, in my opinion, is not pink. And I the rocks are. When I was looking at this place on Google, I think people were photoshopping the images because people were making it look like a dream. These are a bit pink compared to the sand, but the sand isn't pink. But that alone, it might just be in places. It is a beautiful beach. Like, look at that. It's, this is a lagoon, so you can walk out to this sort of island bit in the middle. It's that beach there, isn't it? Look at it. That one. Yeah, it's really blue and green. Yeah, it is. It's lovely. Well, that's where we're heading. Okay. <clears throat> we're heading that way. Or oh, pink sand. Outfit of the day. What is it today? It's the same as yesterday, but I walked 
bought with me about six pairs of shorts and one top. The other thing that I did, I packed in a rush. We had to get up at three in the morning and I packed the night before at about 11 o'clock at night and I was delirious. I bought two pairs of sunglasses. If you watch the video that I'm gonna put up and it's about what to take on holiday, in that video I spoke about two handbags and two particular pairs of glasses. I left both handbags at home. That was the Yves Saint Laurent and the Sea by Chloe bag. And I also brought, I did bring the two sunglasses, but when I got here, the cases were empty. I'd like left the glasses at home. So I bought these when I got here. I did this thing where, because normally I always bring way too much with me on holiday, and then I always get to the airport and my case is like at that point where it's ex excess baggage territory. And I thought, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to bring the essentials. And I thought I'd sort of like travel light this time, only I went a bit too far with it. We have legit found the pink sand. There's not a lot of it, but what there is, is really pretty. Let me show you this and don't laugh because I know this beach was sold to us all as the pink beach and it's, it's not an outright lie, but it was an exaggeration. Let me show you. They did tell us, and I don't know if it's, this was part of, the, part of the plan, but they did tell us that over the years, people come here and then they take the sand. They take like a little trinket and that they've banned people doing it now because it's basically all disappearing. But I can imagine if this whole beach was like this, it would be pretty amazing. Oh, lovely. Let's take the sand out. Oh, look, I've just trashed these trainers. You know, when you get sand in them, that is never gonna come out again. Oh, we've got some more pink here. Do you see what I mean? It's like, it's grouped in little areas. I would be a liar if I told you that the whole beach was like it, because it's not. Say, I know some of you are watching and you're like, don't be a wimp, but it's 30 degrees down here. I still need the ladies because there's like no bathroom down here. And every time I'm trying to walk and it's like, it's like walk, when you walk on sand, it's like hard work. You don't get anywhere fast. That is completely stunning. That's so, it's so clear. You know when you see those adverts, hang on a minute, do you know what, at the hotel they've got an advert that plays on the TV and they've got like a drone that goes over that and there's a lady swimming in the middle. That's beautiful. I wonder where that was. I'm back, I've had a shower, I feel so much better. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to go out and have some cocktails and then we're going to go out for dinner. And the place we're going to go out for dinner is that little taverna over the road that I showed you in the last vlog that I did. It does authentic Greek food. It's really relaxed. This dress, uh, I got this from Revolve and I'm just wearing it over the top of this bikini top, which works out quite well. I quite like the sleeves on it. And then I'm wearing with it, do you remember I was talking about these? These are from Netta Porter, I think. They're like 85 pounds. You can get them in loads of different colors. But they're particularly good if you're already tall and you want to wear a wedge that doesn't make you like overly Amazonian. Now, the thing that I need to think about, um, and I know it's in the grand scheme of things, it's not an important decision, but I'm thinking about swapping over bags for tonight. So I've been using this one on the holiday. This is the Alma BB and this, right, can I talk about this? In that holiday essentials video, I mentioned this, this plastic case. Brilliant if you travel through the airport a lot because you don't have to use one of their plastic bags. But look at that, the whole thing, that whole pouch fits perfectly in there so you can just sort of protect the inside lining. Anyway, what I wanna know is shall I use my new bag? Do I use that? This is, what's really weird is this bag's coming out really pale yellow on the camera but it's actually like, um, it's like a lemon color in real life. So yeah, you can just wear it and have it over your shoulder and I'll show you where it falls. It's sort of there. I've just noticed it's got these um, clips on the side of it. I don't know what's wrong with the camera. My hand's looking red and the bag's looking like really washed out. Um, my camera might be dying, who knows. But yeah, it's got these sort of adjustments on the sides. So you can totally you can totally remove that. The colors are so weird. Look, I look beetroot colored. Both really sweet though, aren't they? Both really nice. What are you gonna get? I, I don't know. I might get, um, might get a mojito again. It was quite good. Okay. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. 
that is actually really good. That's pickled raw cauliflower. And then I think this is manchego cheese. It tastes like it anyway. So the Cosmo first. Change my outfit because I was cold and I've put on my gym kit. <laughs> I've brought two warm outfits here and one of them is for in the gym. But anyway, I'm on holiday. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have a glass of champagne. David's on the old vodka sodas. I could live looking at that view, could you not? It is actually a bit cloudy. Normally the sun is far from setting yet, but normally the sun sets just beautifully over there. Do you like the way I illustrate things yeah, like, yeah. <laughs>